I want to have an example of a pressure equilibrium problem. So this is one that is given pressure information. So notice it says, at equilibrium, the total pressure of the reaction was this. And at equilibrium, we have this value and this value. What is Kp? So to get Kp, you'll notice I already wrote the expression out. Make sure it makes sense to you. I have the, the 2 there by the hydrogen because of this front number, and then I have the um, 2 there because of that front number. And the other one doesn't have a 2 because there's no number in front. And if I were to solve for Kp, what I would need, let's see, I've got this number, 0 0.250 atm, and that number squared times, what I don't have is N2, and then the whole thing is over 12.9 atm squared. So what's the trick to get to the N2? It's going to involve this measurement right here. This is our total pressure, right? So P total is going to be equal to all of the parts of the system. So what we're saying is we've got a container and there's some of this gas, some of this gas, some of this gas. We know this pressure, this pressure, and we know the overall pressure, so we can solve for that one. So we just go ahead and say 14.02 minus the 12.9 minus the 0 0.250. Let's do a quick check and see what it is. 14.02 minus 12, oops, 12.9 minus 0 0.250. That tells us that pressure is 0 0.87. So now over here, I put 0 0.87. So that's kind of like a little trick with this. And then to get the Kp, I just plug it all in. So I take that number times 0 0.250 squared divided by 12.9 squared. And I get Kp is equal to, I'm going to do it in scientific notation with three sig figs. No, with two sig figs. 3.3 times 10 to the, and if you count that over, that's going to be negative fourth.